Hey guys, Bert Kammerer. Today I want to talk to you about uh, launching the Tortuga airplane from SAB. Um, how to get it in the air safely. It's quite a challenge to get this thing airborne the right way, but it's really not difficult as long as you know what to do. So you have obviously two options. Option number one is the easy way, which is just literally take the airplane and you just throw it, hand throw it. The problem with hand throwing or la hand launching the airplane is, is that um, it's a relatively heavy airplane. It needs to go really fast and it's very difficult to get it up to speed very quickly when you throw it with your hand. So generally what happens is people will try to throw the plane sort of like at a you know flat angle and uh, because you don't have enough speed and enough airflow flowing through the surfaces and generally as you let it go you're gonna have some torque induced left rolling tendency so the minute you let it go it's gonna want to roll to the left and you can give it a lot of right aileron and it's not gonna do anything because there's just not enough airflow flowing through the aileron surface for you to counteract that left rolling uh, tendency So the only safe way to hand throw it is to do it um, in the same way that you're seeing in this video on the screen. Um, you aim it really high up, 45 to 60 degrees, and you throw it really hard, you go full throttle, and if it does roll to the left because of the torque, um, as it starts to come down uh, towards the ground, eventually it'll develop enough, enough speed that you can counteract the left rolling tendency by giving it right aileron and just just keep going. Um, it's a little nerve wracking. It's not something that is very comfortable to do if you're by yourself and you're flying it by yourself. So the safest, best way to launch the Tortuga is by using a launching device, some kind of launcher. So um, you can buy something cheap. Uh, here's an example of a cheap, launcher this thing is available from uh i believe it's Hob hobby king uh, or any place in china you can buy this thing for like 30 35 bucks uh, the way this works is you have a pedal on this side with a pin and uh, basically you have a bungee and the bungee goes all the way out and it's under tension of course and then as the bungee is put under tension you have one hook on your pedal here and then you have the other hook on your airplane and as you push the pedal it releases this hook and it launches the plane in the air the problem with this setup is not only the fact that it's pretty flimsy um, but also the fact that the the tension is being held by this pedal this pin in the back of the launcher itself so what happens is you have this trailing cord behind the airplane. So as you have one cord that is attached to the airplane through the, the hook that pulls the airplane from the launcher, you have another cord, which is the one that was holding the tension on the, on the whole contraption here, which is gonna be trailing the airplane. And this could get tangled up on your prop. It can, it can hit your control surfaces. I mean, it's asking for trouble. So the best launching system you can have is one that has the release mechanism ahead of the airplane so that there's only one simple cord, just one cord that keeps your tension and that holds your airplane and, and launches your airplane. So after a lot of research, uh, we've finally been able to design or to, to hand build a system ourselves that works extremely well. So. Um, Disclaimer, this is something you have to build yourselves. So basically go to the local hardware store, buy the parts I'm gonna tell you to buy, and just build it yourself. It's not very hard to do. I know this is kind of like an undertaking for a small airplane, but the beauty of this is this will take the whole stress out of your Tortuga enjoyment. In other words, you know this will work every single time. You can share this with your friends. You guys can launch multiple Tortugas at a time and fly them all together and you don't have to worry about having somebody to throw it for you or making sure that you throw it the right way and it just takes the whole stress out of the equation. So number one and most important is the type of um, elastic or bungee that you use to launch the airplane. 
Some people like this stuff. This is like a surgical type, uh, I guess surgical rope. I don't know what you call this. Um, it's very elastic. It stretches incredibly. Nah, it's not strong enough. You can't do that. What you need is some kind of bungee material, bungee cord material. This is only five millimeters. It's not thick enough, so it's not strong enough. So it doesn't really have the, the power to pull the plane. Remember, this is a rel relatively heavy plane. You need two things. You need length, distance, and you also need strength. You need pulling power. So this is not gonna cut it, no way. So after a lot of testing, this is what you need to use. Um, in Europe, they're using 10 millimeters. In the US, we use 3 eighths of an inch, which is more like 12 millimeters. This stuff is super strong. You can buy this at like Amazon. Um, the key here is to get the right length. Um, this, for example, right here is 35 feet of this bungee cord right here. Again, you can buy it at Amazon or any other place like that. Obviously, you want full 35 feet. You might not be able to buy 35 feet. You might have to buy 50 feet and then cut it down to 35. Um, I put these uh, eyelets right here. So basically what I'm doing here is I went to a local hardware store. I bought some tent stakes right here. And this tent stake literally goes through here. And this goes on the ground and it gets staked down on the ground. Then I start pulling and putting a lot of tension on this, as much tension as I can get until I can't pull anymore. I get to the other end, and then from this end, I have some typical standard cord. I guess some people call this paracord. Um, this thing is basically no more than about five feet in length from the point where the bungee ends to the point where I have my first hook. And then from this first hook, I go to a second hook, which is the one that goes on the airplane. First hook is for releasing, second hook is for the airplane. Now, let's show you what we got for the launcher. Here's our launcher right here. So, um, pretty simple, it's a little bit large. It's an interesting kind of contraption, it's what I call Florida Redneck Launcher, but it works really well. This is made with one inch PVC. You don't have to do one inch. I went one inch and I feel like it's a little bit overboard, but I figured it would give me a little bit more strength and rigidity. So what's important here is, is that you want to travel with this in your car, your SUV, your truck. So everything is glued with the exception of these sections right here. So I can remove these sections. They will store flat, same with that set section there, same with that section, and I can put it in the back of my truck or in uh, you know, uh, a car if you have some kind of connection between your trunk and your back seat. That'll fit, it's five feet long. So let's go over it very quickly here. Okay, so here we basically have some one inch PVC. Um, I basically went and purchased three 10 foot section of PVC, one inch. And then I bought 13 different T connectors and the T-connectors, as you can see here, um, T-connector, 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 and basically put this thing together with a bunch of T-connectors. Again, 13 T-connectors. And as you can see here, I basically extended these legs to where, with a few additional uh, stakes, I can stake down into the ground, into the grass. So I have one stake point, another one here, another one in the front because that's where my bungee connects to, and then two on the back, one on each side. I have four of these 90 degree connectors. I made this kind of contraption here that holds a pivot for the, the wood. And I'm going to talk about the wood here in a minute. But as you can see, I have a T connector here. And then I have a 90, a little piece of PVC, another 90, another piece of PVC and a cap. And then two two hole straps holding this piece of wood with a pivot point here. And the whole goal of that pivot point is that when this bungee cord is stretched and under tension you have one hook 
right here. Okay? And then as that is under tension, you have the other hook here going to your airplane. And so the whole goal here is that when you push this from behind, you're basically releasing the front pin here. And as this pin releases, your plane will launch. And the beauty of this is this is a forward release mechanism. So when you release this whole cord, there's nothing trailing the airplane. Everything is ahead of the airplane. So when this basically pulls the airplane, the airplane will launch into the air. And as the tension is um, reduced, eventually the airplane will unhook itself. And so there's not really an exact science to any of this. I've tried a lot of different lengths, a lot of different strengths on the bungees and a lot of different lengths on the actual cords. This combination seems to work really well. Once again, 35 feet of bungee cord. Um, you got about a five foot extension from the bungee to the first hook. And then you got enough to create tension with the airplane far back onto the ramp. And that's basically it. Um, seems to work every single time. There's one X connector, which basically connects this section right here. And then you need a pin. This is a clevis pin, and it's about, uh, uh, it's a little bit smaller than half an inch. I'm not totally sure. But uh, any, kind of, any kind of pin will work. And as you can see, this one's nice because it's got all these little holes. So I put a uh, cutter pin right there just to kind of hold it in place. Super simple setup, nothing to it. The whole goal is, you know, your hook goes here. It releases, pulls your air airplane, makes it fly. That's it. that's it. One thing that's important too is the angle. So what can angle to have? This is at about 14 degrees of angle. Uh, I got about, uh, I believe it's 12, 12 inches of height in the rear and 26 inches of height in the front. So it gives you about 20, about 14 degrees of angle. Anywhere between 12, 16, 17 degrees is okay. I don't think that really is that important. This could be shrunk down to about four feet, three and a half feet, and it would still work as long as you get the same ratios. Um, for, uh, for those rings, you know, I have various rings here. You know, literally a keychain ring would work. This, for example, I purchased this from like a, a marine store. They had a lot of these. This is what hooks into the plane, but again, like a keychain ring would work perfect for this too so so there you have it that's the uh, launcher and uh, we're gonna show you how it works hope you guys uh, can build your own and enjoy flying your tortugas